Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we will be talking about cells and viruses. Hi, my name is Ashley Roki. And I'm Guy Trainin. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're going to be talking about apps that will allow you to explore cells and viruses. So the first app that I have is called mm -hmm. iCell. And this is a very simple app, so it could be used with younger students, but it's very beneficial, I find. So when you um, open up the app, you have the option to click on an animal cell, bacteria mm -hmm. cell, or a plant cell. So let's just do an animal cell first and it will just take you to what an animal cell looks like. Um, and so down here in the left-hand corner, it's important to notice that it'll show you text when you click on the different mm -hmm. cell parts. Um, you can choose basic, intermediate, or advanced. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at those different levels. So um, if I click on a cell part, it'll t zoom into that part, and it mm -hmm. will give you a little definition about what And this is, is the basic text? Basic. Excellent. And so the intermediate, you can see you get a little bit more advanced. And advanced is quite a bit more text. So I really like that feature. Can you zoom into it? Yes, you can. Oh, OK. But it doesn't get very detailed. Detailed. OK. But you can move around, I thought. But yeah. So you get to see the parts of the, uh, the cell. Let's mm -hmm. look at a different kind of cell. OK. Let's do the plant cell. And on the plant cell, um, what's nice also is you can show the cell wall mm -hmm. or hide the cell wall. So, okay. Yeah, so this one is the one I found you can really zoom, zoom in. Rotate. In. Yeah. So. So you can zoom in, you can see the different parts, you can see the parts. So what I love about this is because you have three kinds of cells, this is an activity that you can easily do with students is look at what is similar, what is in all three cells and what aren't in all three cells. Yeah. So there's a way to compare and contrast and do some interesting things mm -hmm. with that. Or you can explore just one kind of cell. Right. Uh, this is the bacteria cell. Yes. So once again. Just mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, you can zoom in and out, you can rotate, and you can get different levels of text. So if we go back to the basic, basic. text, um, and what I love about this is that ability to go mm -hmm. through those levels. That's one thing they thought about that I thought was uh, spectacular, and that makes this uh, app worth it. Was this a free app? It is free. Okay. So uh, the app I want to show is called Cell World. What you get, and let's, let's go back to the beginning, one of the things that iCell doesn't do and CellWorld does do is that uh, CellWorld has audio, and I'm stopping the audio right now, but it does have audio. The other thing is that you can see that graphically it's even nicer looking, and we'll try to get it to stop moving for a second. Uh, I like a few things about this. Uh, the first thing that I like about this is that sense of uh, fluid everywhere, which is very much how cells are, mm -hmm. which is not, you know, when you see them in a book or when you read about them, you don't get that, that sense. Mm -hmm. And here you get that sense because of the water movement, although I'm pretty sure the cells don't actually look quite like that. And what you can do is with any part of the cell is you can zoom in and you can see that there's a short explanation on the bottom and then uh, pressing the plus you get a longer explanation on the right so it is a little bit similar to iCell in that way that it has those different levels and the beauty of this is again that it can actually read the text to you so even if kids are not uh, necessarily able to read that complicated text they are definitely able to listen to it, although the concepts are rather complex, and you can zoom into the cell and find specific parts in it so you can go back to a specific piece and learn about the nuclear pores, for example, and what they do. So uh, this is a way to get a sense of the three-dimensionality of the cell, very much like our cell, have that support of uh, the uh, ability to hear, and really do some uh, exploration with uh, that cell in mind with all of the pieces that go into uh, living cells. So 
Cell World, a great app, great way to visualize what cells look like and, and explore them. Is there only one type of cell? On this yes. Okay. As far as I can tell, there is just one type of cell in this. And you can get the, the direction very easily. Uh, you can move around the cell just navigating or you can uh, just move here. So oh. more than one way to do that. But that's it. There's only one uh, cell, at least at this point. And uh, maybe in the future, we'll make some more, which will be fantastic. Free as well. That's important to know. So this is called CellWorld. And I want to go back. And there are a few apps in this category. It's called World of Viruses. And they were made right here at UNL, so we're very proud of them. And I'm going to talk about one that's called Phantom Planet. And what it is, is it always starts with a, a you can see that, with a comic strip that is designed to set the stage to talking about viruses. In this case, it's about a, a disease. A, and actually, there's a lot of information about HIV, among other viruses, in this specific one. And what you can do is, in each page, there are also activities, and you can do further exploration. So here it is. Uh, you can explore, for example, different biosafety levels, and you can have the different levels and a short explanation with that. You can get narration. You can run analysis on the Earth's atmosphere and see what's there. So that's what there is on the Earth's atmosphere, mostly nitrogen, some oxygen, and, uh, and other gases. Um, you can turn narration on and off, which is great. Again, you have narration. You can look at the specific way that uh, the HIV virus, for example, in this case, looks, what it looks like, and you can see how it works. So there are many layers in this app to actually learn a lot about viruses and, uh, in this case, how they work, how they infiltrate the cell, and how do they uh, take over uh, that specific cell and all of that. So you can see that, and, and I love this in biology, I think that the movies uh, really help you understand processes mm -hmm. in a way that you can never get when you read it. Yeah. Because you read that process and you're like, I'm not sure what's going on, but when you see it and you see the strands of DNA come and infiltrate and replace uh, the genetic material in a cell, you're like, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Makes much more sense. Yes. And so that's one of the things that this does uh, very, very well. And if we take that off, you can see that the story continues. And so you get all of that sense of what's going on, both at the more human level and then at the, uh, at the virus level. And this is done in conjunction with the university, with NETTV and um, other universities as well. So there's lots of information there and lots of uh, narration as well. Mm -hmm. Some of them have at least an hour of just uh, public television shows about viruses. So you're getting a lot of content. This is again free. So if you want to learn or teach students about viruses, it's a great way to explore them and to make sure that students stay engaged. So this is World on Viruses. And your turn. My turn. <laughs> the last app that we have is Microcosm. You could just zoom into different levels, right? Mm -hmm. So what you can see is you've got an old-fashioned, one of the earliest uh, microscopes. You can find some information about the person who invented it, I think. Let's try that. Can you find out who that is? Yes. So there's a lot of layered information in this app, which, which I love. And you can see, and we talked in one of the l recent shows, we talked about powers of 10 magnification. Mm -hmm. And, and this is the same kind of principle, so you can, make, you can zoom in on things. So right now we're zooming in on? Flea. On the flea. And sugar that's a, crystals. That's a lovely topic to start the morning with. So you get different things at different, so unlike the powers of 10, where you saw the same object at different levels, here you're seeing different things at different level of magnification. And once again, you can click on it to get more information. So we'll zoom in some more. And we have a human chromosome. Click on that and you get some text to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And then as you zoom in further and further, here you can see viruses. So we're talking about viruses again. And then this is molecules. Mo molecules. Okay. 
nucleus? Well, that's actually an atom. An atom. <laughs> and that goes back all the way down to strings. Oh. Uh, which they're trying to visualize. So this is a way to do an exploration and again think about the sizes and how mm -hmm. tiny things get and get that ability to see what's behind everything and uh, the ability to explore a little bit of cells. This one is free as well, yes. right? But if you want more objects that you can see at different levels of magnification, you can buy additional ones. So microcosm is free. And you can use that to learn uh, a lot more. By the way, you can change languages on this and uh, you can have different uh, features. You can highlight uh, the, your favorite pages or your favorite things at the level of magnification. So there's a lot that you can do within this app called Microcosm. So today we talked about some ways to study cells and viruses on the iPad. And what I love about this is most of these apps really allow kids or adults, for that matter, to explore. So it's not just a book that says from A to B to C, but actually they can tour around, they can find out what they want to find out, they can get more information or less information. So there's tremendous learning that can happen where they're driving their learning and, and following their questions that they're interested. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.